difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you gotta do that. I was f***ed up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I made no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. I'm disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy, I had to go into rehab. I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. Oh boy, he was talking to y'all, Christians. Y'all heard that? Y'all heard what he snuck in there? I'd ask God for forgiveness. That was yeah. for you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was for you, yeah. suckers. Yeah. Um, that what was for me. What y'all? What y'all for me? You ain't a Christian either. <laughs> that was for me because when I heard that, I, I, I sent, I'm just telling I sent you. Jeremiah sent it to just us. Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> and I sent it back, and I was like, "Well, what do we think of this?" Um, just because you know, you say you hear, you hear things, and you're like, "Okay," um, but I, you know, for me, I was just like, I feel like. When you do stuff like that, and if you're really sincere about you, um, how you feel about it, you disappear. You disappear, like disappear from the industry, disappear from all of that stuff, so that we, you can really make people believe that you've been in rehab, you're going, you're getting help, you're getting therapy, you're, you know, stepping away from this limelight because I mean, this looks like another PR stunt. Y- y'all know what I'm talking about, right? You know why he said what he said, right? Yeah, he said that because of you guys and me. But he knows that you we have, have this thing him. that if somebody says they're working with God, we're yeah. like, oh, God, 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 oh, man. You know what I'm mm. saying? We got to forgive him. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be important later on this month. Yeah. Um, but you know what I'm saying? Like, God, 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 oh, God is working on me. You know? That is for you to back off. I've seen this tactic before. Um, yeah, of course. You've seen it too. Yeah. yeah. Um, so just be careful with this I've because it. it's it's designed specifically for you. Oh. He made this video because he knows, and he's been using certain pastors for years to try and cover for his behavior. He knows that we have this thing inside of us. It's, it's a godly thing. Yeah. That it's grace, peace. We've been forgiven for so much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That as soon as somebody says, God is working on me, or I ask God such and such, we back off. We're like, oh, okay, we're good. Grace, grace, peace. And I've seen people utilize that 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 um, instinctive reaction in Christians to get away with nonsense. Yeah. yeah. For him to be lying about this all the way up until two weeks ago, and then all of a sudden, video comes out, and I was like, "God was working on me." I, I, I do do not fall for that nonsense. Yeah, just be quiet, go away. If you really change your life, what Paul was away for three years? Yeah, <laughs> try that. Go so go say, go. Be by yourself. <laughs> disappear. Like, please go away. Yeah. Like, this is ridiculous. Yeah, I just think, man, it's it's too much. And then another lady came out this week saying. He did something to her back in the 90s and stuff, and she got proof. She said she still got the stuff. I was oh, like, wow. wow. So, I mean, I don't. <laughs> so, Sean, sounds like you would have preferred this to come out after he settled the Cassie lawsuit. He already settled the Cassie no, lawsuit. I'm saying, no, you don't like, understand right what's, that, like, you don't, guys don't understand what's happening. <laughs> the only reason he said this is because he legally cannot get in trouble for it. Right. The, mm-hmm. the statute has passed. They were, the police came yeah. out and said, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. prosecute him for this. Yeah. Yeah. He would not be saying this if this was still above well, he, his head. Well, the funny thing is, this is how God works. He posted something on his thing before the video dropped that. The truth would come. The truth would, <laughs> the, the truth would say, not set you free, but all lies or something. Yeah. Something no, about the truth. No. And the truth came. And... He he now has to apologize because he remember he was saying everybody's a money grab. They just want money from me. They just trying to take down a good black man or they da da da. And uh, <laughs> but this is this is what I'm con- this is what I'm concerned with because 
I, I, this is where like um, we got to figure out the discernment thing because I don't want to turn us all into like conspiracy theorists where yeah. we jump on every story yeah, 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 and we're yeah, like, this right. person's evil, this person's evil. But we also can't be suckers, like gullible suckers. Yeah. And I've just seen that happen too many times. So to me, where mm. like my pastor will get up on stage, yeah. been cheating on his wife yeah. for years, several yeah. girls. Yeah. And his because his wife is next to him saying, you know, I forgive him. I forgive him. Mm-hmm. Now it's like, okay, we can't we can't yeah, be mad at yeah. him if his wife is not mad yeah. at him. Mm-hmm. All the while knowing the only reason she's saying that is because they got a lot of money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they won't give it up. Yeah. So like we just gotta be careful with this, man. It's 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 really hard because I don't I don't want to lean too far either yeah. way where I'm just distrustful of everybody. I don't want us to do well, that. Well, Kanye kind of stopped yeah, me from being that graceful. Yeah. I don't want us to be distrustful of everybody. That's yeah. not my goal. But this is blatant. So as soon as I heard him say God, I was like, oh jeez. <laughs> well, you knew that was coming. You knew that was coming. You know for though. us as black people, you say God. A lot of people are like, oh, well, Trump I mean, Trump. Trump. you got non-believers that are also <laughs> giving Trump you grace on, 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 on saying God, too. You know God, what I'm saying? working like, on them, y'all. No. Mm, he no. coming up with that gospel album and the church. No, I will yeah. say, I will say, <laughs> and by no by no stretch of imagination am I defending anything that he done, anything he said. Yeah. Oh, uh, You know, only God knows the heart of man. Yeah. So... For some people, they've gone into such a level of darkness that even if they try to do anything positive, it's still going to be dark as a mug. Yeah, because. that's real. So it's like, as believers, where do we go? It's like, he's obviously just doing a PR stunt. You know, he tried to mm-hmm. buy the tape. He tried to do all this kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But as a believer, my question is, where does the grace begin to kick in? Where, where? It's too fresh right now, obviously, because a lot of it triggered a lot of people who saw that video who went through domestic abuse and stuff like that. Yeah. So, by no stretch of imagination can we excuse that or belittle that or anything. But it's like, where do we begin to kind of like call off the dogs and say, okay? I think know. I think what I was looking for was some sense of outside of the legal strategies around your situation. I mean, yeah. You're trying to stay out of jail. I understand that. You're trying not to pay everybody millions of dollars. I understand that. But I think real conversion says, you know what? Forget all that. Whether I go to jail or I'm broke the next day, I got to tell the truth here. I did a lot of stuff I shouldn't have done. Yeah. Like that's yeah, when you start yeah, to really yeah. be like, oh, snap. Yeah. Like, you didn't have to do that. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Kind of, like it, takes a, it takes a supernatural faith in God to say, God, I'm going to take this one 100% on the chin. I'm wrong, wrong. I'm mm-hmm. not going to just maneuver around legal re- legalities and PR. I'm just going to tell the truth. Hey, I lied about this, guys. I super duper lied about this. I was trying to protect myself. I did a lot of other stuff y'all don't know about. It's really bad. I didn't do everything they saying I did, but I did a lot of it. And you're going to yeah. find out more. And I'll take whatever punishment comes. Mm. That's when it's like, oh snap, okay. So that, if he would have said sounds, that, you, that sounds real. If he would have said that, do you still give him grace, or do you but be he, like, I got no grace to give. I don't I yeah. got nothing to do with me. No, yeah. but what I'm saying, would you feel like some compassion, or would you feel like I would feel like, oh, God must be doing something. Mm. Yeah, I think that's yeah. what I would feel like. Oh, that's that's abnormal, you know, admission. You but, know what I mean? But I think yeah, yeah, I yeah. think the the, the thing is, you can't. You can't save face when you're already calling somebody a liar. Yeah. Who was he calling a liar? He was calling everybody that brought him out on like different things, saying like, like "There's a money side. grab, pick a side." You, you, yeah, you got to admit that I lied about that. Oh, that's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. That should have no. been first out of his mouth. Like, I lied. I super duper lied about this. I was trying to cover this up. I didn't want y'all to see this. I was trying to protect my image. I lied, hundred percent. This yeah. was really bad, guys. I'm not trying. I, I I'll take whatever punishment comes. If they if they ask me anything else, I'll tell them the truth. I'm I'm done with this. I ask that question because mm-hmm. sometimes you could be living a whole dark life or whatever, and sometimes God will have what you're doing in the dark to be exposed. And sometimes that that exposure can be the catalyst that kind of sends you in the right direction. That I embarrassment, so. the shame, and things that you have yeah. to experience for what you've been doing. Sometimes it takes that humiliated moment and that moment of clarity for you to be like, you know what? I really am messed up. Like, yeah. I really am dog. I really am evil. I really have been doing this for decades to people and just getting away with it because nobody knew when I had money. Yeah, but hopefully if, this is the thing that kind of actually sends them in the right direction. But, but if, if he, if but he if came, you love it though. But what if you love that darkness? But what if, what if, what if that darkness? Yeah. What if that darkness? You only love. You only are saying what you're saying because that darkness got exposed, like you said. Yeah. Yeah. But you're still tied to that darkness. Maybe you're like, man. 
I, I hate that I did that to her, or I'm, I hate that they saw I did that to her. That you threw. But I still want to have a woman under me that yeah. I can boss around and beat on if, and all this other stuff. If he came here and mm-hmm. we after the show we were talking to him, what would you say to him? You would you would probably say, "Hey, bro, stop ducking and d- dodging, stop PRing this. Let's be real. Mm-hmm. Come mm-hmm. out and say what you did, and then then deal with whatever comes. And all if right. God brings you through that." Miracle so Because pretty, you don't deserve it <laughs> So pretty much He threw then that yeah, He said. needs to be through Like his fir- yeah. the first thought I said was He needs to experience Life as a regular person For a little bit Fact. Yeah. Be as broke as possible Be as in jail Jesus. As he needs to be No seriously <laughs> Like you, you got If you did all this nonsense Take it Lord Take everything <laughs> To turn yourself in I think, I think yeah. that's the mood To turn but, yourself well, in he, Well okay oh, So here's God. the question um, If that pass would Cassie, all the, what, what she claimed because she said it's worse. A lot, it's yeah. worse the stuff in, in her document. And people go rent it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it, the question goes, unless something comes, and I, I don't want to say what I was about to say, but I think sometimes, um, you sometimes Kim Porter. No, I'm not thinking about Kim Porter. Right. I'm just saying sometimes I think so many people, instead of saying like, "Yo, let's get this guy in jail," it, it seems like sometimes it goes to the loot or it goes to. Let's sue Like Little Rail little, little, well, Not Little Rail I But mean, I'm saying but, yeah. I'm just saying At times Sometimes if somebody Violates you Don't you want them To go to prison But it, it, however a victim Deals yeah. with it Is not yeah, my yeah, problem yeah. My problem is more so Him At some point You have to decide I am not running From this no more If you If you truly want To be forgiven Yeah You gotta stop yeah. lying He want public you gotta pay, stop He want public forgiveness He don't care about God well, I'm saying if he did. No, well, no, 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 no. And the reason why I'm saying that, that that's harsh is because you make that video for for your image. But well, so you don't care about God. <laughs> no, yeah. no. Get, understand yeah. what I'm saying? You care more about know, that, we that know video. That's true. I'm just that saying. That video says I care about my image. I care about my brands. I care brands, about what you think about brands. what who I am as Black Mr. Black Excellence. Yeah. Those, I care all about that versus God dealing with Sean, me and my stuff. Charles, yes. those are done. Give it up. You're done out here. It's over. <laughs> Stop trying to protect. It. It's over. So, if you if you really want to be forgiven, you yeah. gotta just stop. Does he tell us? Through. My question is: Does he do a Nino Brown and just start telling on everybody? Like, uh, walk us through the next <laughs> the next year of his life. What do you see happening in the next year of he his dropping life? Dropping the gospel album. <laughs> hey, he probably gonna have a gospel album for real, and he gonna tell us. Start telling on folks because mm. you still got the sex trafficking allegations. You still yeah. got all kind of other stuff that's going on. Like, yeah. and then and then people really just this week people will try to try to go against them, and then, and then other women saying, "Why are you talking? You beat up on me on such as." Oh, like, oh not Joe Budden yeah. all yeah. yeah. What and what about this documentary that's coming out from um, Fifty Cent? Cent? Fifty Cent, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is all bad. It's now. some people. It's let me bad. let y'all know. Some people in the entertainment industry that you just don't mess with. And Fifty Cent is one of those people. <laughs> he is better, not bitter. He's petty to in and in. He's <laughs> he's still messing with Ja Rule, and Ja Rule is like, bro, I'm trying to live my life. I just want to be with my wife and kids and my fans. Can you let me live, brother? Nah, it's so yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he went after Floyd Mayweather hard. <laughs> It is so evil about this man though. Everybody who lived bad boy went to some kind of religion. Yeah. Bro. Like parent from Total, she turned yeah. to a minister. Loom yeah. went to some kind of crazy stuff with it where we're Yeah, uh, they, they said that in the documentary, he made a documentary about the the show, the the bad boy reunion show. Hmm. And in the in the in the um documentary he goes, Yeah, man, it's something about after people leave me, they go to God. That's what he said in the he documentary. Said like, he, like he just like a bridge between yeah. them and, and God. Like nah, they scared. Nah, he driving them so crazy. Yeah, driving them crazy. So terrible. Pray for everybody. Pray that everybody comes clean, yeah. and pray that everybody finds God for real. For real. Again, this is why, another reason why it's hard for rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Yeah, yeah it is. It's a lot. You got to give up. You got to yeah. be willing to give up freedom, money, success, all that to mm. really, really dig in deep. Yeah. So we'll see what happens.